Hello, uh, survivors of the nuclear apocalypse. Welcome back to Fallout, New Vegas and playing hardball. So we are sneaking around the area of this Bison Steve hotel. We just surprise two bad guys so there are convicts about and around and they 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 did something something very very horrific they killed uh, the the deputy or something yeah deputy beagles residence oh yeah and uh, we can actually look into this one here The door to Prim Sheriff Sheriff's office. Ah no, okay, no, sorry, we were in here already. We were in here already. Turpentine. We've been in here already. Uh that's a bit weird. Oh, there's a hammer. Okay, well, that's, let's take it. Toolbox. Nothing there. I wonder if these... If, like, the one row is one cabinet or every, uh, every drawer, but probably the whole thing, right? Hmm. Okay, no. Okay, it's all fine. We've been in here, and what was that one? I was just confused for a moment. Ah, so this is Deputy Beagle's residence. Okay. Ah, yeah, and here. Ah, oh, well. Ah, yeah, well, okay, but we shouldn't, we probably shouldn't uh, steal anything yet. So we don't really know what kind of people are around the area. And uh, that's why I think that it's wise uh, to actually not do anything bad that is... Uh, hampering our relation because maybe they have some work for us yeah so I'm quick saving maybe they have some work for us so and so far it's probably wiser um, to be nice to everybody as far as uh, as it's possible and we are not even like really hostile towards the these powder gangers right so they are not attacking us outright. So this is a casino. I ah. don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you and what are you guys doing in here? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Is that so? I'm a career with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package I was supposed to deliver, actually. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Um, yeah. But can you tell me about this job? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Hmm, what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Parrot dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job cancelled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. 
Well, as for you, came in. Okay, he cancelled. Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. That is kind of suspicious. Do you know who he was and where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Hmm. That's interesting and weird. Well, some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Did you see anything? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Mm-hmm. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay. And I'd like to ask about something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Have you any idea where I can get information on the man that shot me? The Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Okay, Beagle, all right. Hmm. Well, and what can I do to help Prim? I think you have a problem with these convicts, right huh? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing okay. I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. All right. And, well, uh, why do you keep calling them gangsters? I thought they were called powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. All right. Um, I have some questions about Prim. Well, I'll answer what I can. Do you know where I can find the courier office? Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Leastways I did before things went to hell around here. Okay. Something else? Ask away. What happened to Prim? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. It started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Hmm. Something Ask else? Away. What's at Vicky and Vance? That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Hmm, okay. Ask away. And something else, yeah, what's what's that bison, Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Okay. Ask away. And, uh, <clears throat> well... I guess I don't have anywhere better. Let's talk about something else, so, um... You say powder gangsters kidnapped Prim's deputy? Well, you can call Beagle a deputy so long as you don't harbor too high an opinion of the word. Boy was about as useful as tits on a rad scorpion. 
only qualification he ever had was to be brother to the wife of the sheriff. Still, I suppose he don't deserve what's befell him. We would have considered paying the ransom if we'd had caps to spare. Mm, okay. Guess that guy didn't like it, though. That you didn't pay the ransom. Um... Well, do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. Okay. I was also thinking that we might want two of clubs. Gomorra. Well, uh, let's get that one. Three of space. Lucky 38. Yeah. Five of clubs. Ultra lux. The pistol is quite uh, cheap, kind of. Baseball bat nails, gun runner's arsenal, increases damage plus six. Oh, okay. Boxing times. Brass knuckles. Ay, 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 okay. Oh, cowboy repeater. That thing is expensive. Dynamite energy cell. Forceps. Jack of hearts. Refined water, scalpel, scotch, or oh, service rifle. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are. Oh. La Fantoma. Sneak plus 10. But these are all magazines, I think, right? So I think we are fine for now. Let's buy these cards. Pleasure That's doing it. business with you. And I'd like to ask a little bit more about that delivery I was supposed sure, to make. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Um, but yeah, I think there's Don't nothing go else. Shot. Okay, so. But that's nice. Quick saving. So let's have a look. What's this? Slot machines. Okay. So, hey oh, hello, Prim Resident. Before the powder gangers came to town, Johnson Nash ran the local store in the Mojave Express station. Interesting. By the way, I thought you were a woman for a moment there. Okay, hello. I'd rather be left alone to my misery, if you don't mind. These guys Howdy. all look like women, but this rather is a real be left one. Alone to my misery, if you don't mind. No, it's fine. So, is there anything here? What's this? A vending machine. Howdy. Before the powder gangers came to town. Johnson Nash ran the local store and the Mojave Express station. Okay. Hey, Johnson Nash. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Okay, so that's uh, the See. same person. Howdy. Roulette. Hey there. Black Jack. Howdy. Activate Vicky's Howdy. outfits. These replica outfits show just how conscious Vicky was of the styles of the period. Vicky was well known for her sense of fashion and her fixation on expensive clothing was thought to be one of the reasons the pair chose a life Howdy. of crime. Uh-huh. Well, that car has seen better days, I guess, huh? Howdy. Vans outfits. These mannequins display replicas of some of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress. Howdy. Uh, I think something is missing here. But well. Quite a town. From resident. Sheriff gets murdered and Deputy Beagle dragged off for ransom to the bison steed. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Oh, who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My yeah. husband and I are prim long timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. That is useful. Would you be so kind and not point the gun at my tummy? 
Could you tell me something about Prim? My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Ah, uh, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. Is that so? The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Okay. I'd like some of that red scorpion venom casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Oh, actually, none. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Alright, that's good to know. I'll keep that in Bye. mind. Yeah, see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, sure. Back to tourists. I wonder if people are unhappy if we uh, lockpick the, the door. Okay, well, so I guess we have to go over there, huh? But maybe, uh... Oh, well, well, actually, guys, I think I wanna play the... Oh, there's a computer... Uh, a robot. Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Hello, who are you? Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Who were Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Yeah, tell the story, yeah. please. Oh, I ain't had a chance to tell that tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central US like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway. It was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Oh, a machine gun, you say, huh? Tell me about Vicky and Vance again. I don't know, it's fine. Tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Okay. They didn't sound so dangerous, though. What about the Spice on Steve Hotel across the street? <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheap. And that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Okay, well, and what is this place? Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! Okay, well, then Happy see later. Trails, partner. Hey there. She's very interesting. Can Howdy, partner. Person? Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. No, kind of not. Okay, well, goodbye. Happy trails, partner. Thank you. Howdy, partner. Welcome okay, no, we can't pickpocket him because he doesn't have any pockets. So there was talk of. Howdy. 
Vance's gun, the 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plague, is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper wrap box under some suitcase in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance's might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun. So long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with the full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remember to reload. Well... This one here, but ah, we can't steal it, huh? Well... Ah, so this is... So the car was actually, yeah... Shot through, huh? Well then... Um, so I actually I am inclined to play the game again caravan with the guy because we can Let's have a quick one with him. Is it him? Hey there. Johnson Nash, right? Yeah, let's do it. I know it takes hey, a little still hanging But let's do it you just think one you have what it takes kid of course Let's race this one to the maximum and let's accept. Randomized caravan deck, it's fine. So because I think I'm getting the the hang of it, kind of. Uh, yeah, so let's put this one there. The eight here. Six can go here. Ah, that's fine. Put the three there instead. He can waste his uh, his uh, cards. Two can go there. All right, 26. Let's directly use our king. Yeah, so why we can't put a six, uh, this one here, I, I don't really know. And how about the four? No, but we can't put it there or there. Six also goes here. Hmm. Put it there. And let's put the four here. And then we've got eighteen. And now it's not allowed to put it there again. Okay, well, whatever. Like so. Ah, uh -huh, 25. Put the 5. It's not allowed there. There. Like so, 13. And then let's have a joker. Oh, like, eh, uh, sorry, the... The guy here messing up his whole caravan. That's good. We are very unlucky with the numbers here. But there we go, 21 for the first caravan. He's discarding his uh, third caravan. The five. Can't go there. Let's put it here. We've got a seven, that's actually very convenient. Um, let's put it here for 19. For the 9. That's very nice. For 22. Now we are very close. That 2 is also 21, right? And that should win it. 
Okay, well. To the boy there, there we go, and we, are, we still don't win for some reason. Um, this is the king there. And now we win, all right. So, yeah, there we go, all right. Thank you. There we go, right? So, and now let's go over there. We're just sneaking over to the uh, the bison, bison Steve. I guess we could also get into the first floor or something and then come from the upper side. What's What kind of building is this? The Mujaf. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the express. It's all a bit bleak. Ah, nice. Ammunition. Yeah, and actually, I think that we are going to use the shotgun inside the building. Okay, it looks like these guys are holed up in there. Is that a trash a dumpster? Looks like it. Treasure chest. An egg timer. Oh, we can't really get on on this one here, huh? Oh well. Cigarettes. Pre-war money. Oh, there's someone. Oh, there's a guy. Let's catch the person. Or just let's make sure that no one is around here. Okay, no, that's fine. It's clear. Dumpster. Nuka Cola. Now we can get on this one here, right? Yeah, that's good. Oops.
There you go. No one heard anything. Tire iron. Varmint rifle. Now oh, that's fine. Oh, we have two of them actually. Oh, that's good. No, oh, let's use it. Very nice. We're getting somewhere again. Tire iron. Oh, I think that could even be better than the letter lead pipe. Weight nine. Oh yeah, well it's actually like very compared comparable. Yeah, let's use it like so, and then it does a damage of eight, and this is thirteen. Oh well. This is the pistol. And we can go in here. Let's do that, actually. I wonder if we throw it there, uh, then it should actually hit all of them, right? Come on. Right? Okay, well, that's, that worked out worse than I thought. Why are we so bad? Well, let's shoot him, let's shoot him in the arm then, the left one. Leave a hockey mask. Troublemaker outfit. Yeah, I think we should rather repair the stuff and then we sell it for more. So now we are at weight 180. Nine millimeter pistol. Damage eleven and our weathered pistol. It's damage sixteen, so it appears to be better for some reason. And this one can can we mod it? We I think we have a mod. But well anyway it's fine. Oh, we, we got a level. Oh, nice. Uh,
think we should have 25 or something. Actually, I'd I'd rather I'd rather uh, save. I just wanted to save. But yeah, no, we can't. Okay, well, how about we push the signs to 40? Like speech could be 30. Oh no, we need more bartering. Like that. Or like 25. I think 25 seems to be an important number. Let's put this one to 25. Like so. Let's reset everything. Yeah, buttering to twenty five. And then the rest goes on survival. Yeah, I think that's fine. So and now Swift Learner gets another rank. Cannibal. I think educated. With the educated perk you gain two more skill points. Every time you advance in level, this perk is best taken early on to maximize its effectiveness, obviously. Level four. Comprehension. Ah yeah. The the reading. Oh yeah. Crazy Cannibal. Retention. The bonus grant by skill magazines lasts three times as long, yeah. Lady Killer. Intense training. Confirmed Bachelor. So we are educated, of course. So there we go. Quick saving. Nuka colas very nice indeed uh, I think this is the 10 millimeter pistol or what do we have right now at uh, the 9 millimeter okay, it's 11 damage this one also does 11 damage of the 10 millimeter we have more ammo though and this one is 16 so we are using the weathered by the way, is there a difference? How does it look? No, kind of not. Okay, well, we are using this one. Hey. Oh, they're up there. that and then this guy always oh, got a hockey mask on the right arm there you go
there you go. Oh, he's got a number of medals there. Surely not his own. Merc. Veteran outfit. Hockey mask. Dirty pre-war business wear. Let's check out the apparel hockey mask. Well, we can actually repair this one. Like that. Merc veteran outfit. It's all very heavy. Okay, Merc Troublemaker, looks like this, okay. Merc Charmer Outfit, looks like that. Merc Adventurer Outfit, aha, uh -huh, interesting. I wonder why these convicts have some stuff like that, actually. Um, and we are going to put all that that stuff uh, the pre-war the other merc things in there right so pencil cigarettes Of our situation. Food, water. Oh, and we are we are also rather nearly crippled. And why are we wearing the hockey mask? Oh, our cowboy hat got a shot. Okay, then I guess the hockey mask is as good as anything. Oh, it's unarmed plus five. Uh, well, no, we are doing this one. And actually, I think it's uh, we could actually drink something. And eat something. Brahmin steak. one on a stick sleep minus 15 so well let's have let's have one new car cola and let's eat red meat and let's eat the squirrel on a sticker huh? uh, what was the food 115 yeah 145 yeah that's fine oh, the, yeah the squirrel on a stick Firehose nozzle. I've got you now. Hey, where where does he come from? Where did this guy come from?
Ah, he's sleeping there, okay. There you go. Critical strike. That was smooth, right? Adventure outfit in there. Yeah, and otherwise I think the rest we can just keep in there. Oh, we can repair the varmint rifle actually. The varmint rifle is in really good condition now. Tire iron. Yeah. And I actually I'm inclined to use the shotgun. Let's try out the shotgun. Nuka Colas, very good. Whiskey. And Psycho. And more Psycho. Okay, we can't go around there. Well, I think this is a dead end. I, th I guess we have to go there. Or rather we go down here. Yeah, I think that's a more controlled situation. There you go.
more cola. Oh, ah, no, a radiated water fountain. So let's rather not do that. Sunset, pre war money, yeah. This one is empty. We loved locked doors, right? Vacuum cleaner. Metal box. Toolbox. Wrench and scrap metal. We're only taking one. Oh, this one is empty. Very sad. Doctor's bag. That's actually useful. And this should be the main entrance, I guess. Well, actually, I think this could be all in here. I don't know, there's something here. Bobby pin. A leaf blower. Hmm. For a pre-war spring outfit in okay condition. No, that's fun. And a bonnet. Let's have a look at that one. Now that is fun, isn't it? Well, this stuff hasn't been clean in quite a while. A ransom note. A ransom note. Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash and small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Okay. Tja. Poor guy. We are not lying down in that dirty bed. So 
So let's have a look. Oh, there is something there. And there's another door. Cigarettes. Another hockey mask. Oh, jet. Cherry bomb. I'm not sure what the cherry bombs are good for. Oh, psycho. Okay. Yeah, well. Or pre war baseball cap. Lots of psycho here. Mad. Mad X. Switchblade. Oh. More Mad X. Okay, well. A switchblade. Well, So I guess that we actually have to go up and then down again. That's the thing. So actually, uh, it, it was the right, the right way, the correct way. To go up here and then the other, the other, uh, uh, the other room down. This one here, I guess. Yeah. No, actually, we've kind of been here already, but well. Wonder glue. There's a, another baseball cap. of whiskey bottles better not lying in bed when the ceiling is coming down
Yeah, so actually... There. Ah, so actually this isn't the... Ah, we can't actually go through this door, okay. Ah, it's the elevator. Could be repaired. Repair 35 or higher. How much do we have? Now that is exactly enough. That is great. And <clears throat> do we have the... Let's save the game. Do we actually have a magazine for that purpose. That is just signs. Met. Oh well, actually we don't. But we can buy it. We can buy it from the guy. Uh, here. Well then, we need to run. Oh no, it's... Uh, oh. We are here, okay. So, but actually guys, we have to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, it is actually quite exciting. Oh, what's going on? It's quite exciting here. Oh, there's someone. Yeah, that's actually a better way. Shoot the right arm. Right. Had enough. Oh, shot off the, the right leg. There. there you go. Oh, that's the escaped convict leader. Well, let's shoot him in the head. There you go. And then we are, we are uh, throwing some dynamite. Right. There you go. Okay, we are crippled now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we could really see a doctor now. So that's the thing. Oh, what's that? Oh, we have something. We have something. And by the way, so... Yeah, well, actually, this is, this might be uh, exactly the, the point where we should end this episode. I wanted to end the episode already. So you can see it is carrying me away and this is like, it's not the good sign. So let's end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. I would appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So you never ever miss an episode again. And then next time we'll continue. I think, yeah, I, I probably should end the game right now. So then if you have any thoughts, please share them in the comment section. And I would appreciate if you click the like button. See you next time. Bye bye.